pretty much everything I make is about everyday life, either common things that happen to anybody every day, or sometimes my work's often about memories too, so both adult memories and childhood memories. All my pictures come from real things, but through the filter of my imagination. One thing sort of leads to another, and I love how an idea can begin maybe in painting and then evolve into sculpture, then around the other way, so I love that very much. I've often painted the house and the night sky. It's a theme that I've done over many years. I see the house as like a symbol of the home and the home of, with the family and um, everything's known inside. And then beyond the house, there's sort of the universe, which is enormous. But with the comets and the paintings of the falling stars, although the universe is enormous, it's also, nature is also very fragile. So the comets are like a symbol of the end of life and the fragility of life, even though the universe is enormous. So I paint about that in the house pictures. Some, some of the other house paintings have smoke coming out, in this case the uh, dreams of a fisherman. So inside there's a man who loves, or a woman, who loves fishing. She's obsessed with fishing and lives for fishing. The thoughts have, have gone out the chimney. It's a sort of surrealist idea and it's a sort of spin-off of my House of Love uh, paintings and sculptures where there's so much love in the house that it actually oozes out the chimney. With my brother and sister having young children, I started to do sculptures of young children and it, it began from there. And one of the big ideas with the girl holding flowers is that it's like a gift of giving something back. And I also think of it as like the woman is like a mother and that the gift, she's giving the gift of life, which is the ultimate gift. So it's sort of symbolised in the flower and it developed into bigger sculptures. The link between the painting and the sculpture is very important to me. So an idea can begin as, a, as an oil painting and then evolve into a sculpture, into a bronze. I regard each technique as equally important and one technique feeds another. Over the last 18 months I've been working towards making a, a large hardback book based on my sculpture. The book came out a few months ago. The author was Andrew Stevens. The book is a 25 year overview of my sculpture. So the Salt exhibition is sort of the launch of the sculpture book. Nitty Gritty, we decided on Nitty Gritty, I, I, I was struggling to think of a, a good name for the book and Andrew Stevens, the author, found Nitty Gritty and he suggested to me that, what did I think of that? I love Nitty Gritty because when you make sculpture, especially with bronzes, there's a lot of grinding, noise, fumes, it's sort of hard Nitty Gritty sort of work. There's a toughness in the sculpture. Also Nitty Gritty is like getting down to the essence of things, getting to, down to what really matters. So I like the double meaning of that for the sculpture. In the Salt Exhibition we'll be exhibiting some big bronzes like the Smiling Kookaburras, which is like an adult kookaburra, and the baby kookaburra, so there's the parent and the child. They're birds, but there's also a link to people. There's a play on the, the laughing kookaburra. These kookaburras are just smirking, they're smiling. They know something, we're not sure what they know, but they definitely know something. <laughs> A lot of it is definitely play. It's adult play, but it is play. And I'm trying to get that energy, that freshness. You can't re, you, you know, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. You're not a child anymore, but the child's sort of still inside us, I believe, yeah. <laughs>